What is going on guys, Killin' McKill Cam here with an episode of Call of Duty Ghost and this is going to be multiplayer, kill confirmed on Bayview and this ain't going to be the best uh, gameplay that you see for Call of Duty Ghost, uh, you know I'm definitely no fucking beast, I'm no fucking pub stomper, I don't ever go fucking like uh, 50 and 1, 50 and 0, I usually break even or go a little bit positive, you know sometimes if I'm in a fucking pub uh with a bunch of scrubs and i got some decent players on my team i might go uh double positive or triple positive but you know rarely do i ever uh do that you know i usually just break even or go just above even i'm holding a strong 1.2 kd uh but i don't give a fuck about kdr you know i'm not one of those fucking stat nerds <laughs> all i give a fuck about is kd and you know i think that's part of the problem with call of duty is so many motherfucking people are just so tied up in kd that you know they don't give a fuck about the objective they don't give a fuck about their team they don't give a fuck about their teammates they're fucking selfish um you know and all they give a fuck about is kd and i think the games would be better if they took kdr out of the fucking game completely um and then people would quit fucking worrying about it and maybe they'd fucking play the game uh for fun and they would play the game um competitively with you know, doing the fucking objectives, <laughs> you know, you go into a fucking domination map, and so many motherfuckers are in there just fucking kill farming, and kill whoring, and they're not playing the fucking objective, I don't know how many fucking times I've gotten into a domination match on a team full of people not playing the fucking objective, and basically they're just in the fucking lobby trying to get those fucking high kill streaks, um, which is fine. But let's say this, you know, let's say in a game of domination, what if they took the KD out of the fucking game, you know, at the end of the game when the, whichever team won and they showed your stats at the end and they always show the KD, you know, how many uh, kills, how many deaths, how many fucking assists and that's it. That's all they show. What if they showed how many captures in defense you got in domination, you know, and let's say you're playing fucking kill confirmed. How many fucking tags did you collect and how many tags got taken from you? You know, what if they showed that? Um, because then people would be more apt to play the objective if that's what they showed at the end of the game. Don't you think? Because then you got, you know, if it's a six on six or an eight, let's say eight on eight. Then you got 16 people seeing um, how well you played the objective, rather how many kills you got. Because at the end of every game, everybody says, oh, look, I went fucking 20 and four. I did good. I did better than you, you know, and it's just like, but you're fucking team lost, bro, because you didn't fucking play the objective, asshole, uh, <laughs> is, is how the conversation usually goes, uh, so me personally, I just wish they had take KD out of the fucking game completely and, you know, base your fucking performance on your fucking performance, you know, put KD and team deathmatch and free for all, obviously, because that is the fucking objective is just nothing but kill. But, you know, you got these fucking kill farmers and these fucking kill whores going into these objective game modes and not playing the objective and just trying to get these fucking high kill streaks. Uh, that's part of the reason why games are bad. You know, you hear people all the time talking shit about Call of Duty Ghost saying that it's a fucking bad game and that fucking people camp. And that's true. Uh, part of the problem was the fucking low health, you know, if they would have increased the health by a couple points and made it harder to kill people, then maybe people would run around more or run around faster. Um, but the low health, I think, made people play a little more campy and a little more cautious. Um, you know, that there was the, de the developer's fault. You know, I will put that on the developers. But most of the problems that I see in Call of Duty games, Battlefield games, any game, any multiplayer game where, you know, the online play is horrible or bad, it's not the fucking developer's fault. The, the developers aren't in these fucking lobbies making people play certain ways, dude. It's the fucking community. It's the Call of Duty community that go in here and exploit shit. Um, it's the Call of Duty community that comes in here and sits in a fucking corner with their fucking back against the wall with claymores and IEDs blocking all the fucking entrances and waiting for some unexpected player to run by so that they can get shot in the bat, back. And, you know, it's the community that makes these fucking games bad, dude. These fucking developers are doing anything and everything possible to make a fucking good-ass game, dude. You don't understand what goes into making a fucking game, bro. Uh, you know, they work on this game for a fucking year straight with hundreds of employees. Um, and they do what they think is best. And, you know, Call of Duty is one of the best-selling franchises in the gaming market for a reason. Because people loved their games. And I think part of the problem also is that when Call of Duty 
first got real popular with COD 4, then Modern Warfare 2, and Modern Warfare 3, is that these are the titles that people probably played first. You know, uh, most people, their first COD was either COD 4 or, um, what was it, World at War. And those were their first Call of Duty games ever. And basically, they were just basic games. You had three fucking kill streaks, and that was it. People didn't fucking camp. People didn't give a shit about KD. Um, and then it was just later in the fucking franchise, Call of Duty 2, or not Call of Duty 2, Modern Warfare 2, Modern Warfare 3, and then Black Ops and Black Ops 2, and now COD Ghost, where you got so many people, um, all they give a shit about is their fucking stats, dude, and it's the KD. It's the fucking KD that they fucking put in the game uh, that people gave a shit about, because at the end of the game, if you went fucking 4 and 20, and motherfuckers would talk shit to you and say, oh my god, you fucking suck, you went 4 and 20, uh, blah, 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 this and that, uh, you know, and that's what made people want to do better um, with their KD is because they didn't want people in the in-game lobby to fucking talk shit to them and say that they fucking suck. So at any means necessary, they would just fucking camp. So I have the winner of the Call of Duty Advanced Warfare for the PS4. And I want to say to everybody, thanks for participating. Everybody who subscribed to my channel, followed me on Twitter, followed me on Twitch. Uh, commented in this section below uh, liked and shared the video on Twitter I want to say to all of you guys thank you so much this really means a lot to me and um, if you didn't win please don't be discouraged because I am going to be giving away games in the future I'm giving away Uncharted 4 and Far Cry 4 for the PS4 and the Xbox One so here's your winner guys right here